Michael, Sylvia, I'm standing out right outside of the damaged door of the Raising Cane's River Center where three people broke into it using a brick. Police officers tell me they've hired, they've brought on additional officers to try and deal with these types of crimes. A smashed door, empty fire extinguishers, and six battered 80-inch television monitors worth about $5,000 each. The tab for the damage at the Raising Cane's River Center is about $50,000 in damage. The group may also have broken into some vehicles in the area, according to police records. Baton Rouge police say they've seen more of this kind of activity recently. In the most recent days or weeks, we have seen an uptick in a few incidents happening with vehicle burglaries and thefts that has been occurring. 17-year-old Javen Thomas is wanted for simple burglary and simple criminal damage to property. Police told WBRZ that Thomas and two others allegedly used a brick to break into the River Center at 2 a.m. Tuesday and sprayed the fire extinguishers and then used the canisters to break the televisions inside. Sergeant Darren Ahmed with Bad Rouge Police said officers are working to control the recent crime sprees. Uh, we can't control the good from the bad, so whenever there are teens or adolescents that are acting against the law, and violating crimes, uh, we can't pinpoint when and where that is going to happen. But what we can do is assure that we keep data records or statistics on where these crimes are happening and we can beef up additional patrols to uh, focus on those areas of, for more attention. Police records say the three were in the building for approximately 45 minutes. It's not clear how they went undetected for so long as they smashed glass, sprayed the fire extinguishers, and banged on the televisions. River Center General Manager Wayne Hodes disputed the police account on how long the vandals were inside. Actually, it was more like 20 minutes uh, they were in there before they got, uh, they got scared away. I guess you could say our security guard came in there and scared them away. Surveillance video showed that the intruders were wearing face masks. But investigators noticed they were without gloves and identified Thomas from the fingerprints on the fire extinguishers. Ahmed says parents have to keep special eye on teens who are at greater risk of getting in trouble when they are not in school. Uh, we always ask, I like to say, parents, make sure that you are accountable for your children. Make sure that you are aware of who they are befriending because sometimes you never know who they're associated with that may be partaking in criminal activity. Anyone of information regarding the vandals is encouraged to contact the Baton Rouge Police or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live in Baton Rouge, Jordan Ponzio, WBRZ News 2.